assigned to the people, the birth of Jesus. And mention, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place toward the east. 16. And she took, in seclusion from them, a screen. Then we sent to her our angel, and he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. 17. She said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful from you, so leave me, if you should be fearing of Allah. 18. He said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. 19. She said, How can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste? 20. He said, Thus, it will be, your Lord says, It is easy for me, and we will make him a sign to the people and a mercy from us. And it is a matter, already, decreed. 21, Quran.com 1916 21. And mention, O Messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. Thus, she made for herself a veil from the people which would cover her, so that they cannot see her when she is worshipping her Lord. Then I sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, thus he appeared to her in the form of a perfectly formed human. So she thought he has a malicious intention towards her. So when she saw him in the form of a perfectly formed human heading towards her, she said, I seek protection of the merciful from you that any harm should come to me from you, if you are pious and fear Allah. Gabriel, peace be upon him, said, I am not a human. I am only a messenger from your Lord who he has sent to you for me to give you a good pure child. Mary said surprisingly, How can I have a child when neither a husband nor anyone else has come near me nor am I an adulteress that I should have a child? Gabriel said to her, The matter is as you said, namely that no husband or anyone else has touched you nor are you an adulteress. However, your Lord said, To create a child without a father is easy for me. And it is so that the child granted to you is a sign for people of the power of Allah, and a mercy for me to them, due to the good they will achieve through him. And the creation of this child of yours is a fixed decree from Allah and written in the preserved tablet. Surah Maryam, 16-21 In this series of articles entitled Assigned to the People, we will go together in a journey with our beloved Jesus, peace be upon him starting from his birth until his raising to the heaven. We will try in our journey to find answers of some of the questions that many of us may have about Jesus. We will try together to answer the following questions. What about the abnormal birth of Jesus? What is the meaning of him being a word of God? Is Jesus God? Is Jesus literally the Son of God? Was Jesus really crucified and died for our sins? What is the salvation from Islamic perspective? Did Jesus bring tidings of the coming of Muhammad? Now, let's quickly start the first article in our series and try to answer the first question about the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him. The messenger has believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord, and, so have, the believers. All of them have believed in Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers, saying, we make no distinction between any of his messengers. Quran.com 2-285 the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, believes in everything that was revealed to him by his Lord, as do the believers. All of them believe in Allah, all his angels, all his books that he revealed to the various prophets and all his messengers that he sent. They believe in such messengers without making any distinction between them. They say, we have heard your instructions and prohibitions, and we obey you by following your instructions and leaving your prohibitions. We ask you to forgive us, O Lord, for in all our matters we return to you alone. Al-Baqarah, 285 In Islam, believing in all prophets and messengers of God without distinction between them is a main pillar of Muslims' faith. As for Jesus, peace be upon him, Muslims not only believe in Jesus and revere him and his mother Virgin Lady Mary, peace be upon her. But they also consider him one of the best five messengers of God. Muslims' faith is not complete until they believe in Jesus as well as all other prophets and messengers who were sent by God from Adam to Muhammad, blessings and peace of Allah be upon them all. The Muslim is not Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus' peace be upon him. The Birth of Jesus at the same time, Muslims believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, only as a human prophet, neither as a god, or god, nor the son of God. A prophet whose birth was miraculous, just like the birth of Adam. 
That shows the complete and absolute power of God and his absolute ability to create whatever he wants even without the reasons that we can understand with our limited minds. If we have four probabilities of creation, the creation from no man and no woman, the extreme opposite case which is the creation from a man and a woman, the creation from a man only without a woman, then, the remaining possibility is the extreme opposite case of number three which is the creation from a woman only without a man. Uh, the first probability is represented by the creation of Adam. B. The second probability is represented by the creation of you, me, and all human beings. C. The third probability is represented by the creation of Eve. D. The fourth and last probability is represented by the creation of whom? Jesus. So, just like Adam was created from no man and no woman, and just like Eve was created from a man only without a woman, Jesus was also created from a woman mother only without a man father. And this miraculous creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, clearly shows the complete and absolute power of God to create in all cases with or without reasons, or even with just a part of the reasons. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he is. Quran.com 359 With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59 Is Jesus a word of God? What's meant by word of God? Now, let's think about this question and try to relate it to what we mentioned till now. What is the meaning of word of God? The meaning of word of God, Almighty Allah, is that God created him with the word be. But the word of God be is not God himself. Otherwise, the Torah, as being a word of God, should be worshipped. And this is obviously wrong. Let's clarify the point through an example, when the magician says some words so that people see the ropes as snakes, here we say that the word of the magician became a snake. But does it mean that the snake is the magician himself? Did the word of the magician become the magician, so that the snake became the magician? Allah creates whatever he wants with or without reasons. He creates everything with a word from him. Allah said. His command is only when he intends a thing that he says to it, be, and it is. Quran.com 3682 The authority and prestige of Allah is such that when he intends to create something, all he says to it is be, and so it happens as he intends it. His intending to give life, cause death, and resurrect is also like that. Yasin 82 And said Indeed, our word to a thing when we intend it is but that we say to it, be, and it is. Quran.com 1640 Indeed when I want to bring the dead to life and resurrect them then there will be nothing to prevent me from doing so. When we will something to happen, all that we say is, be, and it definitely becomes. And Nal, 40. Not only in the Quran, but also in the Bible the same meaning exists. God creates everything with the word be, and the thing comes into existence either from nothingness or from something else. In Genesis 1. 3 And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 6 And God said, Let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. 7 So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. And it was so. 9 And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. 14 And God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, and days and years. 15 And let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. This is exactly the same with the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him. The creation of Jesus with a word is the same as the creation of Adam, who was in the Bible Son of God too, that was with a word also. And the same as the creation of all the creatures that was also with a word. All were created with the same word, be. When Virgin Lady Mary, peace be upon her, wondered of having a child without a man or a father, the answer was. Such is Allah, 
he creates what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, be, and it is. Quran.com 347 When Allah wishes for something, he says be and it is. Nothing can stop him doing as he wills. Ali Imran, 47 it is not, befitting, for Allah to take a son, exalted is he. When he decrees an affair, he only says to it, be, and it is. Quran.com 1935 It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. So he who is like this is free from having a son. Maryam, 35 if Allah created Adam from the dust, while it is not from the same sort of the human body, is not Allah then capable of creating Jesus from a woman who is from the same sort of the human body? Allah created Adam from the dust then he said to him be and he was. However, Adam was never a god and he was only a human. And the same thing happened with the creation of Jesus, he was created in the same way, thus, he is only a human too, and he was never a god. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, Be, and he is. Quran.com 359 With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? Ali Imran, 59. What else makes Jesus not a god? This is what we will discuss together in the coming article. Stay with us.